<laughs> marathons. Back in 2019, I signed up to do a marathon. The first time I searched up how to join one was in high school. And it turns out, you need to pay them real money. Yeah, that's right, past me. This fake Monopoly money won't cut it. Ow. Stupid paper cut. Whoa, that's stupid. Why would you pay someone just to run, get sweaty and tired, when I can do that for free? But in case you haven't noticed, I'm not tall and handsome. I'm foolish. With a lowercase f. So I ended up forking over a hundred dollars just to run 14.857142 repeating freedom miles. Caca! Or around 42 kilometers for those of you in Fiji. Since it was so freaky expensive, I put off paying up until the very last minute and ended up with only like two weeks to prepare. Okay, cool. I still have time. This'll be fine. Cause I have a plan. See, I'll run every other day, slowly increasing how much I run each time, so that by the end, I can run the entire marathon no sweat. You might not know this, but it's similar to how you can lift a baby cow every day. And you keep doing this until it's all grown up. This means you can lift an entire cow. With this in mind, I ran one loop around my neighborhood on the first day, then two loops, then three loops, and then fruit loops. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait. Uh, I mean, I had to go pee after the third loop. And in the remaining days, I just ran shorter and shorter loops because I think I read somewhere that that's what you're supposed to do. But that's alright. I can run like 5 kilometers in 30 minutes. So uh, 5 t times 9 could carry the 30, 30 minutes. And ah, this should take at most 4 and a half hours. And who knows? Maybe I'll pull out some extra adrenaline during the actual race. <gasps> and be fast enough to reach Boston. So with like three days left, my brother, who has a driver's license, drove me to the convention center to get my free t-shirt and my race number. So they can keep track of my amazing time. There was also free stuff, like free headbands, free stickers, and free heat packs. Why do I need a heat pack in the middle of summer when I'm going to be running and sweating? I don't know. But you can be sure I took it. Because I paid $100. So it wasn't really free. I mean, they just misappropriated my registration money into the production and manufacturing of quirky yet ultimately useless gizmos that they're just shoving down our throats. Or in my case, my, my disembodied head. They also gave up free scratch that paid for samples of these sport drink mixes and let us try these organic energy gels and gummies that they were going to be handing out at checkpoints during the actual race so we don't starve to death. Now, with everything prepared, all I could do was wait. And a few days later, it was finally here. Race day. Will I remember to set my alarm for 5.30 in the morning so I can get there in time? Will I finish the race before I pass out from hypothermia? And most important of all, Will I ever be able to complete a video within a month? Stay tuned to find out all this and more in part 2 Electric Boogaloo.